There'll be a tear, like, it's just, it all come together. And it could hit me like a, like a punch. If I win this, I could just be on a ball on the couch for about a day, you know, trying to wrap my head around it, trying to come to terms with the emotion. Dennis Hogan, you've had an incredible lifelong boxing journey. You've fought for three versions of world titles so far and you're about to fight for a fourth against Sam Eggington. Do you feel that there's a bit of destiny about this fight for you? Yeah, I really do. Like, there's, a, there's always been a feeling to me that, because I've been on the road so much, I've always thought, yeah, if I could just get a, a, a title fight here in Australia. And, um, you know, I started to look like, you know, that was going to be you know, not going to happen in my career. And then, boom, all of a sudden, this all came along. It's now here, and it truly does feel like, you know, it's just that feeling of, I could just get one here, and now it's here, so. How exciting for you as well to go back to Newcastle, where you were the opponent, essentially, against Tim Zhu, and now you're going to have all those fans behind you. It'd be a different feeling walking into that venue, wouldn't it? Yeah, it will. It's, uh, you know, that was the thing about the start of this, is it, it, we, we can banish some demons. What a, what a turnaround from from 18 months questioning where my career is at and, you know, what can I do and can I improve to being here and, you know, winning a world championship in this exact same place. And, you know, that does feel like destiny to me right now in fate. You're fighting against Sam Eggington. He's someone like yourself who's been around in global boxing for so long, been involved in a lot of really notable fights. He would have been someone um, that you've had an eye on for a long time, I'd, I'd assume. Yeah, look, when, when, I look at, um, when I look at his record, he's, he's knocked off some really good fighters, guys that people like Frankie Gavin and now, who were very prominent back when I was amateur. And um, he's knocked off some good fellas. He's been European champion, British champion, Commonwealth champion, and now he's the world champion. He's pretty much done everything. Um, he's ticked all the boxes. And so, you know, but, but the good thing about all of that is, you know, I look at him and, and you know, he has lost, um, and so have I. You know, when you get a guy with a no, sometimes they don't know how to lose at all. But, you know, you get this guy, I know he'll give it everything. But I just feel like we're sort of kind of in that same boat. But he has that belt right now. But I want that, and I know I want it more than him. I know I want to be on the flight back with that belt a lot more than he wants to be on the flight back with that belt. And, um, you know, and my, and my training has replicated that, and here we are, and we get the opportunity to do it. So it's a lot of credit to Sam. You know, I, I get the feeling he did not want to come out here at all uh, by, by the way the negotiations and all went. But um, he has to now, so... Um, and, and finally, I get to have that kind of... that positive in my camp. Where do you think your mind will go when you've got the belt? Do you think you'll think about growing up in Ireland, your grandfather that you talked about? Will you think about fights like Mungia and the disappointment or your family now or your life here in Australia? What, what, what's it going to... What's going to be the focus, do you think? I know you're trying to draw a tear, guys, because you're close to it, but I do think there'll be a tear. There'll be a tear, like, it's just... It all come together, and it could hit me like a, like a punch, you know? And, you know, like I've even said, you know, people are talking about, you know, the next day, you know, and, and the people that want to stay and celebrate and, and all of that, and that's... Sh but I'm starting to feel like I think if I win this, I could just be on a ball on the couch for about a day, you know, trying to wrap my head around it, trying to, over, trying to come to terms with the emotion. A big motivation for me and something that stays with me is um, I was talking to Aria, my daughter, and she was telling me about the, the, the world title, and she's kind of like, she's getting smart enough to understand. And she says, um, oh, Daddy, I hope you win. I really hope you win. So that means a lot to me. Well, you've given everyone a really special ride, Dennis. It's been a crazy journey, but uh, the very best of luck in winning this belt that has eluded you for so long. Um, we really hope that you get there. Thank you very much. I'll give it everything I have, I promise. <laughs>